How can we simplify our homes even further? We've done decluttering and organizing and so many things, but what can we do to continue to enjoy our homes and further simplify? Now that we are going into winter and the cooler months, we will be inside more often. And I just want to dig a little deeper. So join me today as we get some decluttering, cleaning, organizing, and working on a really fun project finished in our home this week. So it all started about a month ago where my husband and I decided to put in a new screen. The previous one was broken and kept opening on its own, even though we wanted it to be shut. And so we replaced that. And honestly, that was the best decision ever. Then I talked my husband Grant into painting this area and doing a stencil. He has told me that this was the most annoying project of all time, doing a stencil on this painted patio area, but it looks beautiful. I'm so happy with the way it turned out and I really appreciate all his hard work, but this did take a long time. And if you ever wanna learn how to do a stencil, I would definitely look it up before starting because there is a technique to getting it done right. Then we ordered this table off of Amazon and I can link it down below, but it was just a very affordable outdoor table. We have it under our patio here, so it's gonna stay in pretty good condition, but we essentially wanted to add a secondary outdoor area where we could eat. We hosted Grant's family here not long after finishing this project, and this was such a wonderful place to eat almost every meal. We had dinners out here, we had lunch out here. It was good weather still, even though it was cooling down, but this was just a wonderful place to come and hang out sit out here and eat and I feel like this was kind of the finishing touch on our backyard if you've followed me for a while I have quite a few videos on our backyard renovation which I can link down below but this project really just made it so beautiful out here and another thing I'm focusing on as we go into the cooler months where we're gonna be inside more is just digging deeper and seeing what needs to be done. Do I need to organize places better, declutter more, clean? I'm just looking throughout my home during the week and seeing what can be kind of micro organized or decluttered further. Also, every time the seasons change and I decide to change the decorations, I like to do a deep cleaning of certain areas in my home. I know a lot of us remember to do spring cleaning because, I don't know, we just think spring and the clean uh, going together, those words, but I think it's really good for me to think of each season as the changing should also go with doing a deeper clean. So that's what I'm doing here today. I'm just deep cleaning the kitchen and I'm focusing on the floors right now. And I took the rugs out and I actually put them straight into the washing machine and I am washing the rugs. One of them is a washable rug and I've washed it many times and it still comes out in great condition every time. The other one is not necessarily washable, but I do wash it and it always turns out great. So I think focusing on deep cleaning each time the seasons change, and this is great because when I take down the few items I had up for fall, I can now know I'm decorating for Christmas with a really clean slate and clean shelves and kitchen. Running a home and working can be stressful, even if it's the regular routine. I know something that can help you prioritize yourself. Calm is the number one app for sleep and meditation, giving you the power to calm your mind and change your life. Everyone faces unique challenges in their daily lives. Calm offers a wide range of content to help you navigate life's up and downs like meditations, sleep stories, sleep meditations, grounding exercises, and expert-led talks. 
I'm currently using and loving Mindfulness for Beginners. Dress less, sleep more, and live better with Calm. For my viewers, Calm is offering an exclusive offer of 40% off a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash Shannon T. Go to calm.com slash Shannon T for 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library. That's calm.com slash Shannon T. Calm puts the tools you need right in your pocket and helps you dedicate just a few minutes each day to a healthier, happier life. One exciting project that we're starting soon is redoing this kitchen. This is an original 1950s kitchen and I have a lot of videos on the before and after of this of what we've done so far, but pretty much the whole thing needs to go and we need to start from scratch. So as I do the dishes right now, I'm thinking about how I'm going to lay out this kitchen, how I'm going to organize it what I'm going to want to put where, and that is actually helping me decide with the designing process. So Grant and I are just figuring all that out. We will have all of those videos on his channel every single step of the way. So if you wanna follow along, you can go to the link in the description box to see more information about his channel and this project. Here's the shirt that I wore the other day and my mom came over and said, that shirt is enormous on you. And I think it always was pretty big, but it might have stretched out or something. But now that I'm a different size, instead of hanging this back up or putting it back in one of my drawers, I'm just gonna put it straight into the box to be decluttered. That is pretty much how I declutter everything nowadays. When I'm just going through my everyday life, putting clothes away, putting things away, I stop and wonder, do I really need this? <laughs> is it in good condition or does it need to go? I had to find a place for this fan and I had a larger bin down there with junk towels or like work towels, cleaning towels down at the bottom and it wouldn't fit with the fan down there. So then I went to my storage of containers that I've had forever and I found this one that can easily fit in there. We're not using this in Levi's room anymore. Sometimes I save uh, bins and storage boxes because they can work in different areas and usually they can stack up really easily within each other and I'd rather save them than get rid of them each time. Um, but then I saw this one which is a collapsible one from Ikea and it actually fits in here way better. So all the washcloths can go in here. And yes, that's how we fold washcloths. We just go like that. It's, it's way easier. This is a really good example of digging deeper and making changes as I see needed. So like I just said, that fan had to fit in there. And then I thought what could fit better next to it and just made the switch. A lot of the time, that's how these decisions are made. It's not really super well thought out, but it works and I think a lot of the time, you know, we do our best to organize everything 100%, but sometimes things just have to be changed around kind of last second or as you're living in the space. I'm gonna declutter all this. <laughs> Here's another great example of how I keep our home simplified and continue to simplify. I was putting away the fall decorations and I thought, I have a few seconds here. I'm going to pull out both decoration bins and see what can go, what kind of junky things I've been holding onto that I really just don't need anymore or we never use. So I'm pulling those items out and I actually ended up throwing some things away because they were just in such bad condition. I think I'm gonna get rid of this because it's been a long time since I've used it. Now we're entering what I call the snowball effect. I went through the other two bins. I was inspired, I was already there, and I thought, hey, I'm gonna pull out these art bins. This is where we keep the kids' art stuff. And in all honesty, we never had three before, so I don't know what happened, but I think they just kind of exploded out and I didn't even know what was in here. Most of it was trash. Some of the paints were just completely gone and there was a lot of paper that was already used and just honestly trash. So I went through, I was able to consolidate it into two bins and I think I can even come back to this area when I have a little bit more time and go through, get really ruthless, declutter even more because we have a lot of just unneeded paper 
things that are kind of scrap type stuff, but we'll see if we use it up through this holiday season. If we don't, I'm gonna come through and hopefully get it down to one bin. I'd like to invite you to join my email list. I have a link down below in the description box. And also if you're new here, you can hit the subscribe button to join my channel. And I wanted to get into talking about the benefits of simplifying your home. And I know that I don't necessarily feel that we are the most minimalist family out there. I kind of think of us as a simplified home or minimalish, I've heard people say. But what it is, is I feel as if our home is so easy to put back together. When things are left out, I can easily pick them up and know exactly where they go. I no longer get overwhelmed with the amount of things in my home and I don't feel stressed out. Now, as I add the Christmas decor, maybe I will feel a little different because, you know, there will be extra things around, but I just like having a cozy, warm home that does not have a ton of stuff in it. It's interesting because we are going to do the kitchen, which made me move where we have that dining room table and kind of restructure how we're going to have things laid out in our home. And it just gave us so much more space. It was weird. There's like a big open space now where I started to question, what are we going to put there? Or what are we going to do? But instead of rushing out and going and buying the next thing really quickly, I like to just stop, think about what would work best in that area and not rush into any decisions. Try to feel okay with the open space. I know we always want to fill an open space for some reason. Maybe it's just human nature. Some other benefits that you see in this video is it's way easier to clean our house, to keep our house clean and tidy. Also, we've freed up a lot of time. So we make a lot of our food from scratch and I try to enjoy that process as much as I can. And then I'm always rethinking what is working for us and what isn't, which leads me to this linen closet here with those thoughts. I'm simplifying our linen closet by getting rid of all these curtains that I think I said I was going to get rid of before and then decided to keep for whatever reason, uh, but they're really going to go now. And then I also had bought these covers for the chairs in our living room. And I just hate the way the covers look on them, even though the chairs are really dirty. I don't know what I'm going to do with the chairs because they are a light color. They just keep getting dirty and I'd love to have a cover for them, but they just don't make covers that look nice. So I'm going to let these go and I'm also going to let these go. We need to start a new saying, winter cleaning, fall cleaning, spring cleaning, summer cleaning. So we're all inspired to dig deep and clean our homes each season because I love the way my home feels after I've spring cleaned it for a week. So that's what I'm doing here this week is doing my end of fall, beginning of winter cleaning of my home. I love this brush for getting into corners and for inside, outside, everywhere. My kids worked as a tag team to break it in half. So uh, I'm probably gonna have to get a new one to replace this because this is quite sharp and dangerous, but it will still work right now to at least get the dirt off of the windowsill. And usually I clean the windows every spring, but preparing for winter, even though it's going to rain and, you know, get dirty, I just, want to start remembering to wash the windows more often because I clean the windows on our patio side and it looks so good now. Every time I open the curtains and look out the window, it's so clear. It looks amazing. Even though we live in California, it is freezing now. So I have my jacket on. I am by no means a window cleaning expert, but I've found through the years what works the best for me is using a squeegee and some hot water with dish soap in it, not too much soap, but this 
really does work the best. I haven't had any success with any of the spray cleaning window um, stuff that they sell at the stores like Windex. That just leaves so many streaks. So to me, this is the best. I just wash it and then I squeegee it off, then use a junk rag to wipe any of the smears down. And while this was not perfect, I was shocked by how great these windows looked from the outside and when we were inside. It's just incredible. If you want your house to look clean, wash your windows. That is something that I need to do more often. One thing I wanna mention as well as I put these covers away that we put on our outdoor furniture when it's gonna rain, and also this new table. I know a lot of people say every single thing that you bring into your life, um, you know, let's just take this table for example, it means one more thing to take care of. As you see, I'm wiping it down because we were out here and there was a whole bunch of dust blowing around. So I wanted to um, wipe it off so we could use it. But I like to think that certain things that we bring into our lives, yes, we have to take care of it, but at the same time, it actually improves our lives so much and makes it better that it's worth it. So here I'm just enjoying a hug from my oldest son and I just love those hugs. I enjoy them so much. And now we are going into dinner time, doing some from scratch cooking here and then I'm taking care of my plant. So while everything in our home, yes, needs something um, done to it and needs taken care of, it also does bring joy. So plants bring so much joy to my life. I love them as a way of decorating and just they make me happy. So I think it's worth it to have it in my home. We're finishing up the night here by just doing some really relaxing things like for me taking care of the plants and I had made some sweet potatoes baked in the oven. We had some chili that we put on top of those and some broccoli on top of that. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you're doing to prepare for winter and I will talk to you in the comments. If you're new here, you can hit the subscribe button and click right here to continue watching more videos. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.